Since they were first commercialized by Brewer Science in 1981, anti-reflective coatings have extended conventional lithography processes far beyond their original limitations and enabled the production of smaller and smaller integrated circuits. Without anti-reflective coatings, the devices we use for work, communication, and entertainment could not be as small, fast, and powerful as they are today. To understand how anti-reflective coatings enable this trend, we need a basic understanding of the process used to make the integrated circuits that power today's devices. Individual device components, such as memory chips and CPUs, are known as integrated circuits, or ICs, and are manufactured in layers on a silicon wafer. Each layer of the microscopic circuitry is created using a complex process called photolithography. Photolithography involves several basic steps. First, a photosensitive material called a photoresist is spin-coated onto a silicon wafer. The photoresist is then exposed to an ultraviolet light source, which shines through a mask that has a pattern of openings that allow the light to pass through. The photoresist is chemically changed wherever it is exposed to light, so that areas of the pattern photoresist can be removed. Using the pattern photoresist as a protective barrier, process steps such as etching, ion implantation, and material deposition are performed. Once this layer of the circuit is completed, the remaining photoresist is removed and another layer of the IC can be built on top of it. So why do we need anti-reflective coatings? During the exposure step of the lithography process, any light that passes through the photoresist can be reflected by underlying layers. In earlier generations of the photolithography process, the patterns being formed were much larger, so reflections from the underlying layers were not problematic. In today's advanced processes, where feature sizes are measured in nanometers, these same types of reflection would ruin the patterns in the photoresist. In some cases, reflected light from the exposure bounces up and disrupts the incoming light, causing an interference pattern known as a standing wave. As its name implies, a standing wave will create an undesirable wavy profile along the walls of the exposed photoresist. Reflections become even more problematic when patterns must be created on top of existing structures. These various peaks and troughs can reflect the light at different angles, resulting in a phenomenon known as reflective notching. The use of a bottom anti-reflective coating effectively eliminates reflectivity problems during the exposure step. Using the same tools that will be used to apply the photoresist, the anti-reflective coating is applied before the resist, creating a light-absorbing layer at the bottom of the material stack. Standing waves and reflective notching are virtually eliminated. In addition to their light-absorbing properties, bottom anti-reflective coatings can also help to level or planarize the structures beneath them, creating a stable platform on which to build more structures. Anti-reflective coating technology from Brewer Science helped to usher in the future of IC manufacturing. Without these materials, we wouldn't be able to enjoy technology such as smartphones, ultra-thin notebook computers, or high-definition digital video. Brewer's Science continues to look to the future by developing cutting-edge technologies for advanced lithography, 2.5 and 3D IC manufacturing, carbon electronics, and other emerging markets. Visit BrewerScience.com to learn more.